This is a grilled uh, lamb chop. Actually, it's just a, a chop or a cut from the rack of lamb. So it's several chops. And we're serving this with some couscous and um, basically what we're calling like a, a vegetable tagine. So it's kind of inspired by Moroccan food, I guess you could say. So we're going to start. Uh, the lamb was marinated with yogurt and some other spices and it was grilled and now it's finishing in the oven and while that's going we're going to start the uh, vegetables as well as the couscous. So just in a small saucepan like this we'll add just a little bit of vegetable oil and it's already hot so we're going to begin with just a small amount of eggplant cut into dice and zucchini. Saute this over medium to medium high heat. Just basically more to soften the vegetable than to really look for any sort of caramelization. We can add just a pinch of salt. So after just a moment or so, we're gonna add in some cooked chickpeas. And these are some gently cooked carrots and spring onion. And this is just a little bit of dried apricot. We'll just put in about two pieces. At this point, we're gonna add in, this is a lamb sauce. Uh, basically, we took all the trimmings from the rack uh, and infused it into some veal stock to make like a, a lamb jus. Uh, we then took a combination of onion garlic, ginger, and a myriad of dry spices, uh, some tomato, and we infuse that lamb jus with all of those spices. You could say it's, it's kind of like a, like a curry sauce in a sense. And so we're just gonna warm all those vegetables with that sauce. And at that point, we can probably start cooking our couscous or just heating it up. It's already been cooked, so we just basically wanna really gently warm it back up. How's the lamb? You want, should we look at it? <laughs> so you can see the lamb's already got, it's been grilled, and now it's basically um, just at rare. So it probably will just be two or three more minutes. And in this pan, I'm just going to take a little bit of chicken stock. And take some of the couscous. And then I'll just take a little knob of unsalted sweet butter and just a pinch of salt. So it just already absorbed that small amount of chicken stock. That's just gonna help it to, to heat up. We don't really wanna add too much more liquid, otherwise the couscous is gonna overcook and get mushy. The butter's also gonna help it from sticking too much to each other or to the pan. So the lamb at this point is just past rare. Uh, at this point, we'll take it out of the oven and we'll let it just rest for two to three more minutes. It's gonna to continue to cook, uh, even as it came out of the oven, and so it'll come up in temp just a little bit. But we'll try to keep it you know, on the rare to medium rare side so it stays very juicy. Our lamb's ready, it has, it's not gonna wait for you. Okay, so just we're gonna start with the base of just simple couscous, just warmed. We're intentionally keeping the couscous on the, on the blander side. We didn't cook it with any stock, but just water, because the sauce itself with the, uh, the, with the vegetables is really full of lots of different spices and things, so it's nice to have that contrast. And here we have that with all of our different vegetables. And so we'll just basically like, kind of gently place everything around so that you can see it and the sauce will come out a little bit. Um, visually, it's kind of nice to have several different size cuts. At least I think so. <laughs> and of course, it tastes delicious too. I'll just take this and go right in half like that. And we'll just take these and cross them. Uh, just very simply over the top and we'll take just a little bit of like coarse grain salt just to season the meat at the very last second. And that's it. I almost forgot. We also have just a couple of pomegranate seeds because you know what? They're in season right now and um, they're from kind of the same uh, area originally, geographically, that this dish was inspired from, so it just makes sense.